We are starting to get somewhere. The exhaust has been uh, completely taken off. This door is gutted. Not a whole lot of support. Everything is plastic these days. But, uh, no, I think she's going to be all right. She, uh, uh, I do have a door bar made up. Um, I got it made into an adjustable, actually. I just got to finish half one piece. And, obviously, I got to finish half that side of the door before I can install it. But, uh, I think these are going to be pretty stout cars. I think these are going to be all right. I probably would suggest putting, you know, some sort of cage in here. Because, I mean, like I said, after you take everything out of the door, there's, there's nothing really there. Plastic has got everything taken over these days. But I think, you know, even just a simple little probably bar coming from, you know, your dash bar. Coming to probably a seat bar or something. Or maybe even just a regular door bar like I'm going to do. I ain't gonna put door bars on each side just because like I said there's not a whole lot left in them doors and apparently those pillars well no I can't say they cave in pretty easy this car did pretty good it was hit it, I found it would happen it was in the winter time obviously and it was spun around uh, and it, as far as I yeah as far as I know it was t-boned by an SUV and that was doing you know roughly a hundred kilometers an hour so, I mean, not bad. Not that bad from, an, uh, you know, coming from an SUV and nobody really got hurt, which is great. So, but, you know, just for add a bit of support, that's what I'm going to do. But, uh, yeah, everything is looking good for, like, suspension boys. Everything is steel. Everything is steel. Jesus, even brand new law. Brand new shocks for the most part, like, oh, buddy. I almost, I almost wanted to part this thing out more than beat it up now <laughs> but no anyways enough of that there's probably that much shit that's probably twisted in, in the car that's you know once you take it apart it'll never go back to get it right so anyways this trunk i got pretty much everything cleaned out for the most part everything is looking good uh, i'm just going to rig that up to the gas tank for now just to uh, uh just to be able to move around the yard i'm not really ready to get at that i want to get myself an actual uh fuel cell an actual steel one so uh yeah that's just going to be just for now i'm going to keep working on this rear end i'm going to i am uh as you could tell i am going to be running dummies on the back of this i had to drill this one out a little bit but uh i'm gonna have to get a finish sheet just about clears but other than that yeah i'm gonna keep working on this i'm gonna see how much more i can get this pulled out and some of it creased in and uh, da, 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 da. Might get this door done today as well. Not creasing it, just folding it down on top. There's uh, not a whole lot of space between the windows. And it's kind of hard getting in and out. So, from a rat of protect protection or whatnot, just in case if there is a fire, just in case, I'm going to be creasing down all the top of the doors like I normally do. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But anyways, I'm going to keep at it. I'm going to keep out this rear end and uh, see where I get to now today. Well, guys, she is sitting on her own four tires now, finally. I got to get this one changed out. I didn't realize how big that tire was compared to uh, this side. So, yeah, I'm going to run the SS's on this. I just got to get another, uh, another uh, well, I'd like to be able to get another two if I could. Or if I can't, I'd like to be able to get another tire that's similar to that one. But if not, the size does matter, so I'm definitely going to get another one for that side. But, I finally got this dummy on. She's actually starting to look like a derby car now, for once. And uh, we got a lot of creasing done on this rear end so far. I just don't want to keep going with it until I start getting some plates welded. But, I don't know, I think that'll be a, that'll be a pretty tough rear end, I think. The bumper is steel, luckily. So, I mean, you know, that should hold up. That should do pretty good. I think that's steel. Or it might be just some hard plastic. Oh, uh, I don't know. No, I think it's plastic. Yeah, it's definitely plastic. Ah, what adds? Don't be lying busting out. You guys can change that if you want to. Um, I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> There's a lot more other things that I'm more focused on. But before we get this welded down, I am going to... Uh, I don't want to untie it right now. But yeah, I'm going to get in there and I'm going to make some notches and whatnot and see if I can't dipple it out. Because I have a feeling it's kind of going to blow down. I, I don't know why. 
just the way I guess the way the sheet metal looks right now so uh, yeah what I mean like I'm asked to get this welded down I want to get my tabs put there not tab sword plates on each side so that'll help keep that trunk in place and before I does that I'm gonna see if I can try to tunk truck uh, tunk this piece or frig <laughs> uh, it's been a day tuck that piece inside of the trunk and uh, see how that goes yeah like i said this door has been fully gutted there's nothing left inside of it anymore and uh i started doing a bit of creasing out of top like i said there's not a whole lot of window space just in case if anything were to happen so i'd like to be able to have some exit points just in case but yeah we're going to get a couple plates put on that and then we're going to start continuing our creasing then because it'll help hold everything in place and it'll pull everything together when i start uh, beating it and uh creasing it up so i think it's going to look all right uh, yeah, once I get that tar changed, I won't look so goofy, and very shortly I'm going to start working on it here, and uh, see what I can do. It's not going to be crazy, like I said, I'm just going to have a seat bar once I get all this pulled out. I'm going to try to run my shifter by the looks of it. I'm going to be able to because it is uh, a cable shifter. It's not ran by wire or computer, which is great, so it looks like it's going to be shifter friendly. Uh, like I said, I'm not keeping the fuel cell. I want to, that one, the boat tank. I want us to get a proper fuel cell, and I'm gonna make up a new mount for it so we can bolt it to the floor. And we'll probably even pull it out a bit to uh, the end of the seat there, so it'll give us more room for uh, crushing area. <laughs> but yeah, even though it don't look too big on the outside, it looks decent from it on the inside. I think it's going to be a lot of space, and like I said, where you got your gussets in here for your speaker deck, I think it's going to do pretty well. I think it's going to do all right, but it does bring one issue because I do like to uh, dish my trunks out along with my speaker decks to give myself some uh, visual area because there's not a whole lot there. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how we can incorporate those gussets into uh, our speaker deck and with pulling it down and everything because... Uh, do it too i might just use the threaded rod on the speaker deck itself this time and just weld a couple tabs there and there and uh, uh plastic bumper I might get changed out after all guys because i want us to do a couple bumper straps and well we all know you can't weld plastic so that might just have to go hopefully most of that might be a covering because i do see steel mounts so me i don't know we'll see we'll see what happens with that but i do want to do bumper straps to help hold that all in place so we'll see what happens it may get changed who knows we'll see uh i haven't really picked that too much more up here i'm kind of waiting i think until maybe next spring um i don't know what kind of bumper rules are going to be set in place yet and I got it. I, well, I don't want to tamper too much with the electrical and all that was moving it yet. Not until at least probably next spring or at least when the, the winter comes, I can stick it in the shop every now and then and start picking at it. I don't really feel like doing it right now. <laughs> Not quite yet. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, guys, I think she's coming around. The rear end is, you know, starting to look good. Got to get welded in place. And uh, we'll get that rear window out. But she's sitting on all fours now so she's running she's moving and she shouldn't be scraping anything other than that front tar the rest of the exhaust is out now so i think she's gonna be all right for a derby i don't see why not once i guess everything hauled out out on this side which is not that bad i mean if you really want to look at it in a certain way uh she already been in one derby took a nasty driver shot and buddy called it quits <laughs> we we could say that so but anyways she's gonna be good guys anyways stay tuned we'll see you on the next one keep building stay safe